In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top 10 websites for web developers, specifically on CSS. And before we get started, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. But now, let's get started. Starting off with the first website, which is going to be called Haikai. This website is going to help you generate random background images. So here we can press on randomize and then it's going to randomize this uh, nice wave. But cool thing that you can do is you can change all of this. So you can change the balance, you can change complexity, contrast and so on. And this is going to be only for this example. There's different styles here. So we have solid outline and all of these other ones. So I'm going to go back to solid. You can change the directions, which is also really nice. We have a lot of different options, like I said before. So we have this blob. Really cool one is going to be stacked waves. And a really cool thing about this website is that you can change the ratio. So if you want your website to be responsive, you could have one for large screens and then for phones and so on. So I'm going to go back to here. Um, and they have a lot of different cool options. So they have also this stacked peaks. They have layered peaks, which is the opposite of wave. Um, and there's just a lot of different options here. So we can see we have contrast, complexity, overlap, wave count, and so on. We have these nice circles. We have a blob scene. So we can add the gap here, make it larger. Moving on to the second website, which is called Color Hunt. And so this website is for color palettes. So when you're stuck making your website and you don't know what color palettes to use, this is the perfect website for you. So if you go to popular and I'm going to go to all time, we're going to see the all time popular color palettes. Let's click on the first one and we can see that we're going to have four different colors. This is probably going to be the main color text color or you can obviously flip that so um, it's really up to you we have the hex colors over here rgb colors and the nice thing about this website is that there's a lot of different options so if you want to find dark color palettes there you go we have sea over here we have summer spring happy and so on so it's really up to you to what kind of palette you want but this website has saved me a lot of time and i recommend you try it when you're stuck with choosing colors for your website Moving on to the third website, which is called Real Time Colors. And this website helps us visualize the colors that we choose and fonts on a real time website before we do it on our own to save us time. But the really cool thing about this website is that it goes well with the color hunt. Since you can sub in your colors here and see what they look like, a really nice feature that they also have is to see what your website is going to look like on our dark theme. So we can randomize, we can press on dark and light, and then we can keep on randomizing. But I've actually subbed in our colors here and it doesn't look the best because I kind of just randomly put it in here. But if we change it to light theme, we can see that we can't see anything. So you do actually kind of have to play around to see the best colors. And you can also change the fonts here. So type scale and so on. And there's a lot of different options here. So we can actually also randomize the fonts. Now moving on to the fourth website, which is called Pneumorphism. Hopefully I pronounced it right, but it helps us generate soft UI. And the really cool thing about this is that we have a lot of different options. So we have the size, the border radius, the distance for our box shadow here, the intensity. And a really cool thing that I like is that you can also change the direction here. So I'm going to actually set the blur to zero. I'm going to change the intensity a bit and then let's change the distance. So actually I'm going to change the blur again, but pretty much you can change the direction of it. We can change the shape and we can make this red. We can make it dark um, or to use hex colors here. I'm going to change it back to somewhere here. But also a really cool thing is that over here we have a lot of different other CSS options. So we have different um, buttons here. So let's press on the first one and it's going to show us how to make this button with the CSS and HTML. You can also change some stuff here. So let's say you wanted to add border radius of, let's say, one REM. There we go. And we can see that the animation is still going to work. We can see this in light and dark theme. So this is what it's going to look like in light theme. And there's a lot of different other options. So we have cards, we have loaders, we have inputs. So here's the cards. And then we have our different inputs here. And so, yeah, so this is a really nice website for nice CSS templates. And <laughs> this is way too dark and light. So let's move on to the fifth website. And then moving on to the fifth website, which is going to be Fancy Border Radius. And it pretty much tells you everything you need to know in the name. Here you can play around and generate your own Fancy Border Radius. And you can also set a custom size. So we can do 200 by 200. See what that looks like. We can make it much larger, but I'm going to actually zoom in. So it's pretty nice because let's say you want to make a button, which was 400 by 200. But you could probably use this as a border radius on a button or an input 
and then you could always copy that to your clipboard. So I haven't really played around with this website much, so I can't really uh, generate a really nice border radius, but if you don't want to spend too much time on trying to generate one, then this is going to be the perfect website for that. And now moving on to the next website, which is called CSS Grid Generator, and it tells you everything in the name, so it's going to help you generate grid here. So if you want to make a Monopoly game and you don't want to waste your time trying to find all the perfect grid values, then you can use this website. Um, here we have our board. Maybe here we're going to have a card. Here we could have a bridge maybe and so on. And once you're done, you can press on, please may I have some code. You're going to have all your CSS here, HTML. And then you can also change the number of columns, rows, column gap. So let's make this two. Row gap, let's make that one. You can always reset it. You can make the column larger, so we can change that to two or longer. Um, same thing for the rows, so we can make that longer or larger. But this website is really nice because it's going to save you a lot of time because you're not going to have to waste too much time trying to figure out the perfect CSS values for your grid. Now moving on to the next website, which is called Hamburgers by Joshua. Here we're going to have a lot of different animations for our hamburgers, which we're going to be able to copy. And we have a lot of different ones, so minus, lapse, emphasis, elastic, squeeze. But hopefully you get the point. So it's a pretty cool place to find ideas for hamburgers and copy them. Moving on to CSS buttons, and here we're going to have a lot of different button options. So when we hover them, we're going to see the animations. We have actually... Um, App Store and Google Play Store, Microsoft buttons here. Let's scroll down and try to find a really nice one. So um, I'm just going to press on this one. And here we're going to see this clicking animation. We're going to have our HTML code here, CSS. And also the cool thing about this website is that we have a CSS cheat sheet, which isn't really the best because it's a bit outdated, but we still have some nice options here. So we have our box model. If we scroll down, we're going to have this background thing. So we can change the position, and then we have our CSS, button generator, text shadow, we have font generator, border outline, border radius, and a lot of different options. So it's a pretty cool cheat sheet that goes with these buttons. Now we on to the CSS glow generator, and it's pretty similar to the other ones. So we had a border radius, gentle UI, and a few different ones, but this one is going to be just for glow. We can change the blur low range the opacity so we can make it much smaller we can change the colors here so i'm gonna get red and we do have a few other options here so we have text shadow generator underline generator box shadow generator text glow generator and a few other ones but now moving on to the last website which is called amatsu which is a really nice web dev open source tool so we have triangle generators which would have been helpful when actually needed them but there they are gradient generators page dividers and this one is pretty close to the wave ones from haikai but we do have less options here but you can also use this one svg to jsx svg compressors fake data generators which is pretty useful and then we have a json schema here symbols collection so here you can find all different symbols and then their html and css entities we have arrows math and fractions punctuation specials css cursors so this is going to be a cheat sheet for css cursors and when we hover them we're going to see all these different cursors and we have a few different tools here which I haven't went over but they're all pretty useful and so this is going to be for this video so i really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did then make sure to leave a like subscribe to this channel so you don't miss upcoming videos Comment down below if you have any questions or would like to see any specific videos and hopefully see you in the next video.